Hi guys, it's me Sana. Welcome back to our channel November Goals. Time to be creative with Sana and Neha. As you see, it's a nice evening and it just makes me go back to the days when me and my sister were playing in a park. It was so huge. I loved it so much. It had lots of trees. I used to climb on it but once I got stuck on it and I was turning it was like 10 feet away because I was just third grade. I was so small too. That's why I was saying that oh my god, I'm 10 feet away from the ground. Yeah, <laughs> it's like that. It was 10 feet away from the ground. Then uh, finally, I was asking that help, help, help. And then, uh, and then my sister actually came and she told she uh, told her I'll rescue you, Sana. I will definitely rescue you. Like that she told. And she started to climb up the tree, but soon she too got stuck in it. Finally, Chitapa told that Maka jump, I'll catch you. Then when it uh, when it jumped, I was really scared because. It's 10 feet I was small that's why so I was super scared and then I jumped and it was so fun to a little, little bit nervous excited fun like that it was all mixed together and my sister did not want to experience that fun nervous excited like that so she slowly slowly kept one foot on another and then she soon, like, soon came down yeah that was ex what that was my experience Huh, that was just a nice memory but nowadays see due to covid everyone got isolated sad and lonely so to do covid has taken all over the world first china then india then all over the places okay and due to this we might get chronic stress chronic insomnia hpa and other memory loss so to prevent this we must, we must keep our brain stimulated activated and occupied with lots of other activities and we just lose five percent of our memory every decade it's better than losing a whole lot like 40 percent that's too much just for, uh, even for our age like us or like 20 or 30 years old like that because when we go to 20 we'll get lots of stress problems right like oh my god i'm not going to get a job or uh, all I have some exams, something like the neat. Uh, I don't know anything about that at all. I'm just saying. Okay. Now think about a vivid memory. Got it? Okay. Now I'm going to tell about my vivid memory. My my vivid memory was that hmm, one day gone uh, gone in a hill. Maybe a hill. I don't know what name it is. It starts with a letter P or something yeah something yeah a little a letter p and it gone like a swirly thing like this uh, round and round and round. was going in a car our whole family our whole family going except appa and appa and my mama okay and then was swirling and then when i opened the window the, the air was so cold it, it blocked my ears and blocked chitti's ears too it was like oh my god I can't hear anything like that. Chitti was shouting too much. My ear too gone within that. When when we uh, when we gone up, there was a stall with some snacks. Uh, the the snack which I really loved was that kind of stick and then a spiral thing which goes up and up and up. I really wanted to eat the whole thing, but no way. Nobody allowed me to <laughs> eat the whole thing. Amma was getting a piece, then Chinnu was getting a piece. Chitti got her own uh, own. Um, uh, whatever snack was that that potato chip snack my, wo my mouth was watering I was crying to <laughs> the mother I am not able to eat it like that okay 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 now think what happened two days ago three four five how about one week but that memory isn't strong enough but why do we remember some memories and not others and why do memories eventually fade off Hmm, that's somehow a little bit complicated, but I'll clear that doubt of that's easy. Um, you will clear the doubt within this session when I'm going to say it. Okay, so think that you're hearing music. <laughs> An electrical pulse zaps your neurons and goes to the short term memory, which is available for a few seconds to a couple of minutes. It's not available like a long time, like yours and yours and yours. Then it goes to the long term memory, which is called as the hippocampus. The hippocampus is stored for a long period of time, like years and years, until you die. Not until you die, I'll go to that concept later. Uh, for years and years and years. And so, those two neurons are connected with something. The thing is 
synapses. The synapses helps to connect the electrical pulse zaps to the short term memory which I told already and then it's called as neurotransmitters. So a remarkable thing happens when two neurons connect for a long period of time. It's called long term potentiation. It means that our memory stores for a long period of time. Yeah, like a long period of time. But why do memories eventually fade off? Age is one factor. Scientists has theories that when old age people were social communicated for a long period of time, they just lost their, a little bit of their memory for a six period of time. But the people, the old age people who are uh, not social communicated, like I'm uh, insulated and not communicated with no any people, sad, lonely, just in a small room, trapped like that. Uh, they lost their memory like within a year year or something like actual brain shrinkage so that's why I'm telling you guys you must keep your brain stimulated activated for a super long time otherwise this is what gonna happen you should not worry about your problems like um, just divert to something well when you're uh, if you failed in your exam just try again like um, this time I'll definitely ace it like that okay so thanks for watching guys please subscribe my channel like and comment down below bye okay guys i hope you like the video please subscribe my channel like and comment down below and ring the notification bell too and this is such a nice video i ever done before and i hope you like it so bye